Trigger Spoon Jr. Small spoon, big results. Get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and get yours today and you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Just like that, baby. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. I wanna talk about lure color as it pertains to landlocked kings and trout. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, for years, I tried not to be a color guy. Um, I'd read all the information about how, you know, orange and red lures, they very quickly lose their color and, you know, turn to a shade of gray as you drop them down in the water column. Say when you get to a point, you know, below 15, 18 feet, an orange lure to a human eye looks gray. And, uh, and my thought was, well, if an orange lure turns gray, you know, at depth, there's, there's really no point in using an orange lure down, you know, 25, 30 feet. That's what I wanted to believe. Um, and, and some of this stuff was confirmed when I started running the underwater camera. I have some very compelling footage, which I'm gonna put up here now, that shows an orange trolling fly descending in the water column, and you can actually observe that fly turn from orange to gray to your eye. Problem is, I'm not trying to catch you, and I'm not trying to catch me. I'm trying to catch a fish, and I could tell you that my field experience backed up with the underwater camera absolutely, positively, beyond a doubt, confirms that trout holding from about 30 to 50 feet deep can absolutely distinguish an orange lure from other colors. Um, the fish I've been fishing for for the last three weeks, they are showing a very strong preference for orange lures. And uh, I've been trying to be semi-scientific. My camera runs for about an hour. So I change lures every 15 minutes. And I've been counting fish interactions with the lure. That includes fish that hit and got hooked, fish that hit and didn't get hooked, and fish that just came in, checked things out, and went away. Um, what I'm finding is that if I take an orange lure, like this trigger spoon here, like that, and I run it head to head against say a copper trigger spoon at 30 to 50 feet deep, where color should not be a factor, I'm catching, or I'm, 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 I'm having interactions with three to four times as many fish when I'm pulling the orange lure. Now, when you look at these, you can say, well, you know, the difference between the orange lure and the copper lure is pretty extreme. I mean, this is copper, the orange lure has a chrome back, so maybe that has something to do with it. So I wanted to take the experiment a little bit further. I wanted to run something more similar to the orange lure and count those interactions. So I ran this pink, uh, pink trigger spoon. Same action, same size, same hook, same everything, same chrome back, but guess what? The orange lure still getting three times the amount of attention from the trout as the pink lure. So, you know, what does that mean? Well, obviously, it means that those fish holding in 30 to 50 feet of water that should not be able to distinguish between a pink trigger spoon and an orange trigger spoon are absolutely positively able to disseminate between those two colors. So, out on the water, I gotta tell you, when it comes to trout fishing, when it comes to landlocked king fishing, no matter what those colors charts say, no matter how your human eye works, colors matter. Colors matter a lot. Um, I mean, I see it myself. In terms of fish interactions, I'm getting 75% more fish interactions at French Meadows on an orange spoon over any other color, even similar colors. And uh, scientifically, there shouldn't be a reason for that. But I can tell you, once again, those trout, they could tell an orange lure from a pink lure, from a copper lure, they just can because that's the only different factor in my presentation. So it's really the only variable there. That's really the only thing that explains why I'm getting more follows on an orange lure is the fact that, hey, it's orange, it's not pink, and it's not copper. Anyway, this gives you something to think about, something to confuse you a little more when you're out on the water. I'm Cal Kellogg, I'm signing off. If you wanna check out my tackle, trigger spoons, rods, reels, more, all the stuff you see me use here on the channel, stuff that I catch fish on, 
quality gear at a fair price, fishhuntshoot.com. I'm out of here. You guys have a great day, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, and we'll talk more trout and salmon fishing tactics. I'm Cal Kellogg. You have a wonderful day.